Let's check out this example about Doppler shift in our very own Milky Way. Neutral atomic hydrogen gas in the spiral arms of the Milky Way emits a spectral line of wavelength 21 cm, okay, which is in the microwave part of the electromagnetic spectrum. The spectral line, when detected by radio telescope in a certain orientation, is observed to be shifted by 0 0.1 mm. Okay, so I guess we have lambda, we have delta lambda, okay? And it is shifted 0 0.1 mm less than 21. Interesting, interesting, okay? So how fast is this part of the galaxy moving relative to us along the line of sight and is it moving towards us or away from the Earth? I mean, us, Earth, same thing, right? Okay, so I guess we could pull out the Doppler rate shift, Doppler shift equation. So where the shift in wavelength over the original wavelength is the uh, recession velocity over the speed of light. Okay. So right now, we can look at the shift of wavelength is 0 0.1 mm. The original wavelength is 21 cm. Now you wait for that, you cannot ratio two things. They have different units. So you can change. I mean, do however you want. I'm just going to stick to my good old prefix, millimeter and centimeter. Okay. So I'm looking for how fast is the recession. It may not be recession. So again, this one, this V here is the speed of the galaxy. Okay, then we can find our C, which is 3 times 10 power 8 from your data booklet, from your data sheet, 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8. And from here, we can find our value of V. So after consulting my calculator, uh, the value of my V is 1.4 times 10 to the power of 5 meter per second, okay? Because this 3.8, I mean, 3 times 10 to the power of 8 is meter per second. So I'm done with the first part, but I haven't answered the second part yet. Is it moving towards us or away from us? So if you notice, right, lambda actually decreases, okay? So lambda, or the delta lambda, is negative. In other words, lambda decrease, which is what we call a blue shift. Now, you may be asking me, Miss, can blue shift matter? I thought the universe is expanding. Are you all right? The universe is indeed expanding. But then, this is the Milky Way galaxy, which is actually the galaxy that we are in. Let me show you how it looks like. Ta-da! Isn't it cool? So, you may be thinking, teacher, where are we? I don't really know. We are somewhere here, lah somewhere there. <laughs> Obviously not in the center, okay? So right now, you notice that there are actually arms in the galaxy. So this is one arm, then there's another arm here, there's another one here. There's like tendrils, a bit like cotton candy, you know? So you have these tendrils and have these arms, okay? So sometimes, um, depending on where we are and depending on which star we look at, certain stars due to this spiral motion is actually moving towards us. Okay, so let me show you that in another picture. All right, here's a cleaner drawing of our spiral galaxy, our beautiful Milky Way. Let's say you are here. Okay, or maybe here. You can tell some of the stars are spinning towards my cursor, right? Okay, so it really depends on where you are. Sometimes certain stars will move towards you because you are all within the same galaxy system. Of course, if we look at a very, very far away star, then they will all be red shifted. So the only ones that could show blue shift can be explained by the spiral pattern. And also because, let's say, for example, Earth is at the cursor, there are quite a few stars that are moving towards the cursor. So pretty cool. This is our spiral galaxy, and these are our arms, galaxy arms. And that's it for this pretty cool example. So just to show you a picture of our beautiful Milky Way. All right, so these are your arms. These are your arms. When I draw on it, it makes it not so nice, but here are your spiral arms. So that's pretty cool. We know that the spiral arm of our galaxies, you know, can 
sometimes because of our relative location between the earth and the sun or the star, sun, the earth and the star that we are looking at, sometimes it feels like that star is approaching us because of the spiral pattern. So from here, because the change in wavelength is negative, in other words, uh, lambda decrease, okay, so lambda decrease, you can say that the uh, EM radiation is blue shifted. So this means the galaxy or the spiral arm of this particle, this part of the galaxy. This part of the galaxy is moving towards us. Towards the earth. Yeah. Okay, that's it for this question. So our universe kind of cool. See you in the next one. Stay lit.